Hi friends, this is Audrey from the Children's Hands-On Museum. Today, as a part of our Farm to Table series, we're going to learn all about one of our favorite meals, the hamburger. We'll learn where each part of the hamburger comes from, how they're farmed, and what nutrients our bodies get from them. So let's get started. What holds our burger together is the bun. Hamburger buns are made from flour, which is made by grinding up grains. Grains come from plants that look like grass, and they grow in big fields that look like this. Next is the patty. Hamburger patties are made from beef. Do you know what animal beef comes from? If you said a cow, you're right. Beef cows don't look like moosey though. They look like this and are usually black or brown. When we eat beef, we get lots of protein, which keeps us full for a long time. There's another part of a burger that cows help make. Can you guess, guess which part? The cheese. Cheese is a dairy product, which means it's made from cow milk. The cows that make cheese do look like moosey. When we eat cheese, we get more protein and we also get calcium. When we eat calcium, our bones get stronger. Some people like to put fruit and veggies on their burgers like lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. These all come from produce farms and they grow in different ways. Farmers plant lettuce in long rows and it grows right on top of the ground. When we eat lettuce, we get vitamin A, which makes our eyes strong. Tomatoes grow on vines. They start out as flowers, which look like this. Tomatoes have vitamin C in them, which can keep us from getting sick. When onions grow, they look like this. Wait, where are they? I don't see any onions, just those funny looking leaves sticking out of the ground. That's because onions actually grow under the ground and farmers have to pull them out of the soil when they're ready to eat. Dairy farmers, beef farmers, produce farmers, and grain farmers all work together to get us the food we eat every day. Tune in later this week to Chom at Home to learn more about how our food travels from farm to table.